I got some of the best results. Chemical smell was not it for me. I was not impressed. Please, allow me to show you something. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Keisha, and today I'll be sharing with you my relaxer reasons. So, I have been relaxing my hair at home over the last at least five years. Within the last two years, I have been trying different relaxers to determine which one I like and which one I want to stick to based on what I've tried and not just because of what I know. The following ratings are in no particular order. If you want to hear them in order, then stay tuned to the rest of the video. But this list was basically how I remember them. So the first relaxer, of course, that I would rate is the one that I have been using the longest. And that is the Perfective Mega Growth Relaxer. And on out of six, I rated it a three. It's the relaxer that I have been using the longest. Two, it's the cheapest. Three, it's very easy to use. However, apparently it can be dry into the hair. But I do think that with the proper hair care regimen, it, it could work. So because I have sensitive scalp with the Perfective Relaxer, I have minimal burns, especially if I use the mild strength. Sometimes I would forget and I purchase the super strength and I think that's where I would get burnt and I, re I notice the difference in the packs. The regular strength is cream. The activator, I believe, is the cream is cream or the relaxer is cream. And the stronger one, it is pink. So I know when I'm buying the relaxer, I should buy the cream and it doesn't burn my scalp and my hair comes out so silky smooth silky smooth <laughs> right so for those reasons i rated it a three because i do like the relaxer however apparently there may be better brands out there the second relaxer is the ors olive oil relaxer kit i rate this relaxer a four out of six well four out of six of the ones that i have tried so the ORS is the most hyped relaxer. If you look for any at-home relaxer videos, you're going to mostly see ORS. Like, it's the most hyped relaxer. And because of that, I was very excited to try it. As you know, if you ever purchase relaxer, you know that sometimes there are different ones that you may not necessarily know. So I'm not too sure if it's because that I purchased the wrong one, but... I was underwhelmed and I don't know exactly why I didn't get a film when I tried that relaxer but I don't know like I was not I was not impressed so like I don't know what I was expecting but the results I got was not it however I am willing to give it another try and be more intentional in the kit that I choose to see if that will make a difference um so that is how I rated the ORS. The next rel relaxer that I have tried is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Relaxer. Now, the results were good. Um, I think I could put it in the picture because I did film that one. I'll also link the video. So the results were good. However, that's the chemical smell that I got. I did not like it at all. Now, I know that you're supposed to use your gloves, but because I, re I want to relax my hair any fastest time possible, sometimes I find not using my gloves, using gloves is a lot faster for me. So sometimes I don't use gloves. I didn't use gloves with the ORS. I didn't use gloves with the Perfective Mega Growth. And I did not use gloves with the Cream of Nature. And like, a two like a day after for a few days i don't know if you ever like clean the bathroom with some chemicals and it makes your skin dry like my skin had like little patches it was just it was dry so i definitely knew that the chemicals in the argan oil was very strong my hands were peeling why is my hair y'all you can clearly see my breakage right <laughs> help me please <laughs> yes while the relaxer did do a good job. I do find that the chemicals, the chemical smell and clearly the chemicals in it was a little too harsh for me. Um, I don't necessarily remember getting burned. I liked all the items that came in the kit. It was nice, but 
The chemical smell was not it for me. So I rated this relaxer a 5 out of 6. The next relaxer that I have tried is the Dark and Lovely Triple Nourishing, Triple Nourished silk, Silkening Relaxer. A mouthful, right? So the Dark and Lovely was not on my radar and I just ended up seeing an advertisement for it on Instagram and I said, hmm, okay. Maybe I'll try it for my next relaxer. I didn't even know that this was a long time fan favorite or anything of the sort. I technically went, I basically went in blind. Yo, know? listen, I really like, I can't say if it was a phase that my hair was going through or what it was, but I don't think that my hair liked the relaxer at all. I don't think it liked the relaxer. I don't think it liked the products. <laughs> I don't think it like the shampoo, it didn't like the conditioner, it didn't like the step five, it didn't like the step six, like, <laughs> I don't know, like my hair, it just felt dry and weird. I, I don't know how to this, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I never, I can't say that I necessarily felt it before to describe what it was. I just know that my hair felt dry and weird and I didn't like it. So, for that reason, it got a 6 out of 6, of course, based on relaxers that I would have tried. So, that was, the Dark and Lovely was 6 out of 6. Now, the next relaxer is the Soft and Sheen Optimum Relaxer. Soft Sheen, sorry. The Soft Sheen Carousel Optimum Defy Breakage Relaxer. <laughs> I'm giving you the full name. So this was the relaxer that a hairdresser recommended to me and I'm not too sure if they re if they were really referring to the box relaxer or, or if they were referring to the um, tub relaxer which I recently learned that box relaxers are being mainly no lie and the big tubs that you will find are usually lie relaxers. However, uh, off the topic but on, on topic still. Um, because I have a sensitive scalp, I think that um, no lie relaxers would be perfect for me because my scalp burns pretty easily and lie relaxers, while they are easy on the hair, they tend to be very, like, too sensitive for the scalp. So, persons usually recommend, if you do have sensitive scalps, and I try the no lie relaxers. I don't know if I am... Um, brave enough to try a lie relaxer and with a lie relaxer it's commitment because they usually come in those big sizes so uh, i'll have to commit it for a while but anyway so the soft and sheen optimum i rated that a one out of six and i would say i got honestly i got some of the best results <laughs> i don't know you could be the judge. Um, I have the majority of the relaxers that I have tried except for the ORS where you can see the results that I got and you could be the judge. You tell me which one you think I got the best results with. Um, but for me, I think that I got the best results with the Optimum Relaxer. Um, the There wasn't a weird chemical smell. It didn't seem too harsh, like my hair felt nice, it looked nice, like the flat iron was like just gliding through my hair, I don't know, it was perfect. However, it seems to be very hard to source. Um, that was in Trinidad, I only found it once. The live version, however, is available, however, I couldn't find the box relaxer version. Um, and then, well, currently I'm in Italy and I am not paying the price that they want me to pay for it. No, I am not. So it's hard to source. So <laughs> it's just heartbreak. And the last relaxer that I have tried is the Kara Care Conditioning Relaxer System. No. This this particular relaxer is, is the story. The story behind it is very interesting. So you can check out the video. I have the video. 
with the tea about this relaxer. Um, however, besides that, I do rate this relaxer 2 out of 6. So, apparently, it is a bootleg relaxer. Because if you do a search for a Kara Kara relaxer, you're not going to find a Kara Kara relaxer because Kara Kara does not make relaxers under the brand Kara Kara. They have the Affirm Fiberguard relaxer because Affirm is the parent company of Kara Kara, but they don't make relaxers under the Kara Kara line. But besides and um, but if you want to see the receipts or whatsoever <laughs> it's linked with the karaoke relaxer video i'll link it up here so definitely you know it's this video um that i don't know here here that definitely you can see it um so apparently it's a bootleg of the affirm conditioning relaxer system however the results honey the results the results, the results <laughs> came very close to that of the Optimum. I, I literally was impressed. I was impressed. And I used it twice. I was impressed by the results. Um, what? Yeah, and I'll do that again, but I did like the results. So I think that if a bootleg relaxer could give me those results and it's a rip off of the a firm relaxer, I really want to try the a firm relaxer. Um, once I go to the US or have access to the US, I'll purchase it. Um, so I'll have that relaxer, but until then, yeah. So anyway, so the Care Care Relaxer System got a 2 out of 6 because of the results. Like even though it was bootleg, I really liked the results. It was beautiful. So anyway, so those are my ratings. And now, just so you're on the same page and you're not confused because I just called relaxers, gave you reasons. So now, hopefully, I could like put a little cute little list somewhere here as I call it but um, my reasons of these six relaxers that I have tried <laughs> number one goes to soft and sheen Carasun defy breakage number two goes to the Kara Care relaxer system a dupe of the a firm conditioning relaxer system number three goes to perfective mega growth place four goes to the RIORS olive oil system place five goes to cream of nature argan oil and place six goes to dark and lovely triple nourished silkening relaxer <laughs> so there you have it those are my reasons of these six relaxers that i have tried um have you tried any of well first of all do you self relax do you relax at home what relaxers have you tried and what relaxer do you love I would love to know is there a relaxer you think that I should try although I may not be able to try it right now I will put this on my list of the relaxers that I want to try um so on the list of the relaxers that I want to try is the Affirm conditioning relaxer <laughs> and the Mazzani butter blend only if it's a no lie I need to do some research so I'll check out the Mazzani butter blend if it's no lie I want I think I want to try it out and tell me which relaxer do you love which relaxer don't you love let me know in the comments and yes that was it if you enjoyed the video if you agree if you disagree with any of my ratings comment below tell me what you think if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from this journey so until next time bye